Hello everyone and welcome back to another Southern Ca Oh, sorry about that, it's the globe. Welcome back to another Southern California seismic data video. Today, similarly to the size of the quake that hit around here a few days ago, a 5.8 earthquake strikes off the coast of Northern California. So let's pull this up on USGS and see, yep, they have it as a 5.9 earthquake, almost 6.0 off the coast of Petrolia, California. Okay. I'm assuming this occurred either on the Cascadia Fault or like, actually I'm not sure, let's, let's just pull it up. Yeah, so that occurred like, San, the San Andreas curves off here, then goes out to the ocean, so it occurred on the play between the Pacific in the Juan de Fuca plate. Okay, let's see how far it was from our seismometers. There goes the globe again. <coughs> About 645 miles. Yeah, I'm going to close the globe real quickly. Okay, 645 miles. So our raspberry shake probably didn't have the biggest of readings. But our infiltech on the other hand... Sorry, that's the Mammoth. Didn't quite load here. This is the reading from Mammoth, California. Very large readings. And then... Oops. If we go back here, for Menifee, here's the P wave and then the S wave. And then from Apple Valley, huge readings. Okay, so that's that for the Infiltech. And then for Raspberry Shake. There aren't any large jolts, but when the quake's far away, it starts going up and down and up and down, spread out like that. So it starts around 3.01 UTC and yeah. keeps on going f oh, okay. for a while. I think it's still going. And it ends around 3.10. Let's check this out on the spectrogram. And yeah, because lar quakes that are far away, um usually appear lower on the spectrogram, so that makes sense. You can see it there. Keeps on going. And yeah, that's that. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you again in the next video.